and welcome again to Creative Kids with Sally from Lowington Spa Art Gallery and Museum. Well, I hope you've had fun the last few weeks looking at Terry Frost. We did some lovely shape hunting and then we did some printing. So if you haven't had a look, do head over to our YouTube channel and um, have a look at those. Then we're gonna be doing something completely different today. We're gonna to be having a go at making a mixed media picture. And that picture is gonna be inspired by one of our most popular paintings. And that's a painting called The Mission by L.S. Lowry. Now, Lowry is famous for his paintings. You may know what they look like, but if you don't, um, perhaps have a look at the slide that was at the front of this film, and that was the, uh, the a picture of the mission, or Google image L.S. Lowry and see what you see. So when you've done that, you'll see that his pictures, his paintings, were of lots of big buildings. They were of in, in what you might call an industrial areas, things like factories, cotton mills, and he also, over the top of his buildings, put lots and lots of people that look a bit like matchstick people. And those people are often at play or walking along the street. They're often in big crowds, which is something we'd all like to be doing at the moment and we're not allowed to. Um, but do have a look at them. Anyway, he used paint. And very, one very interesting thing about Lowry's paintings was that he used only five colours. He used yellow ochre, vermilion, which is red, uh, Prussian blue, black and white. So you can make your picture style of anything that you can find at home, but I want you to try and limit it to roughly five colours. Now it doesn't have to be those colours, but try and choose just a few different things. So I found some, oh, a little tin of black paint. I found a little tin of white paint. And I have got a little bit of red here and I've got some pastels which are red and yellow ochre. So I'm going to show you how I started making a mixed media piece. Now instead of just copying a painting and becoming a good forger, it's nice to be creative and just to use a painting as a starting point, as an inspiration for making something new. So when L.S. Lowry was starting his, his pictures, the first thing he did was draw the buildings in. Now you could draw the buildings in with a pencil, but I have chosen to use bits of newspaper or you could use bits of card and to stick those and to make the shapes of the buildings. And when you've made the shapes of the buildings, you can then use a paintbrush or you could use a pastel and have a go at just blocking in and filling in those sections of the building. So that one might be um, a white one. This one might have be a, more, a more shaded one with pastels. You can see the general idea. Now go back to the picture that I showed you at the beginning and start adding in the roofs, the chimneys, lots of different things. Have a go at putting the windows on and build it up in layers. And then when you've done that all over the piece, what I want you to start doing is having a go at trying to draw some of his figures. Now, I think the easiest way to do that is either with a pastel, and you could draw almost like a sort of matchstick person bending over. They, his figures seem to move. Or you could have a go at doing this with some paint. So some of his figures were wearing clothes. They had the sort of very simple body shape and then different features. So you can see, have a go, have an experiment and see if you can create your own Larry. Now I had a play with one earlier and this is my finished piece, which is okay, and I'm quite pleased with it, but I reckon I'm gonna try again and see if I can get it even better. So have a go at using the L.S. Lowry picture from our art gallery and museum as a starting point for a creative mixed media piece and enjoy and I'll see you next week. Thank you.